Living. Welcome back. I'm here with Carrie Hefner with the LSU Ag Center for this week's In the Garden, and we're talking about any problems you may be having with fruit trees mm -hmm. because of all the rain. Yeah, yesterday seemed to be fruit tree day in the uh -huh. office. Everybody came in and had a lot of calls about fruit tree questions, and the, the recent damp, rainy weather seems to be just exacerbating some problems. So I thought we would look at those today. We'll start off by looking at something called fire blight. This is what it looks like. Uh, and appropriately named, if you see uh, pear trees that look like the tips of the branches have been scorched or burned, um, this is where this condition gets its name. Now, fire blight is caused by a bacterium, and uh, this, is, this is what happens. The tips of the branches turn black and they crook over, uh, and we see this a lot in the palm fruit uh, members of the rose family, and this involves using uh, what amounts to a horticultural grade of antibiotic called streptomycin, and you, the, the trick here is you have to get to this while the tree is in flower, it probably wouldn't hurt to start treatment, start spraying your fruit trees with this uh, right before the buds open. Ironically, it is the insects that pollinate the flowers that move this bacterium from flower to flower and it will get into, if there's a, if there's a compromise in the tree or any of the plant tissue, um, that's where the bacterium will get in. And uh, so at this point, uh, since flowering is basically done, or it is done, uh, there's not much you can do as far as uh, applying this uh, horticulture grade of streptomycin, but what you can do now is start pruning out the infected branch tips, and you wanna make sure to disinfect your hand pruners uh, after every uh, cut, or certainly before you move to the next tree to do that. So fire blight is a big problem right now. Also, this is quince rust showing up in some of the same types of fruit trees. Here it is on mayhaws, and while it looks like we're gonna have an excellent mayhaw crop this year, um, I see this a lot uh, in home orchards or folks that just have one or two trees in their yard, but want a mayhaw tree. That's what it looks like. Now, this is a rust fungus. It's not a bacterium like fire blight. This is a true fungus, a rust fungus, and it requires two hosts to complete its life cycle. That's what it looks like on foliage. That's parsley hawthorn, a close relative of the mayhaw. Uh, but it, that's, that's what it would look like on apple leaves or pear leaves. The other host for this fungus is uh, juniper, eastern red cedar or other cedar species. And uh, it has to go between those two hosts to complete its life cycle. For this, uh, you would use a fungicide. Uh, and we recommend one that contains the active ingredient, microbutanil. It is a systemic fungicide. And uh, the thing about fungicides is, actually, you have to start using them. They're really more of a preventative. Once the berries have that rust fungus on them, spraying them with microbutanil won't really do anything. The fungus has basically completed its life cycle. So those are some of the things showing up now. And again, just the damp weather has, uh, has just made the problems worse. So With these chemicals that you mentioned, where mm -hmm. can you purchase them? Okay, any of our local garden centers uh, will have these. The, the, the streptomycin will be available as agromycin or sometimes it'll be just be fire blight spray will be on the package mm -hmm. and microbutanil is available for home use. You don't have to have uh, a permit to use it, but uh, there is a product specifically for home fruit trees that contains a fungicide and an insecticide all in one. So that's something to look at too. All right, thank you so much, okay. Carrie. And of course you can always call the LSU Ag Center if you have any questions. And up next, we'll sit down with Joe Lane to talk about the run for the red, white, and blue. Yep, I'm sorry that time of the year. Stay with us.